Hi, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2016 Thor Motor Coach Ace 30.2 bunk bed motorhome. This motorhome has a full wall slide out. Instead of having two smaller slide outs, this has one giant slide out for the whole left side. Has bunk beds in it. Really opens up to a lot of square foot of floor space and a lot of cubic feet of storage space for all your cargo compartments. So I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna go around and explain little things about this. It has an 8,000 pound tow package on it. That's factory. Pretty much most C-Class motorhomes only have a 3,000 to 5,000 pound tow rating and most A-Classes uh, gas motorhomes don't go above 5,000 pounds but this has an 8,000 pound tow package has the outside entertainment system which I have my speakers blasting you have these uh, waterproof speakers right here they're marine grade speakers outside the motorhome and I have an app on my phone that controls the sound system so I can play pause control the volume fast forward to the next song turn the volume down turn the volume up annoy the neighbors if you want paused muted very nice outdoor stereo system so you can play your music you have an outdoor TV I'll show you that in a few minutes a large electric awning let's put that sucker out so because there's no slide out on the right side you get a much bigger awning it's an electric awning and it's height adjustable right now it's set to the highest position but you can lower it depending on the type of a camping you're gonna do you can lower it to a lower position it's a busy day for traffic all kinds of cars going back and forth making a lot of background noise it opens up in just seconds here anyone can operate it just at the press of a button and you do have an LED light in the uh, patio and an LED light in the awning to provide uh, shade or illumination at night there's a lot of things that this motorhome has so let's take a minute to, before we go inside you have these nice big towing mirrors. These are power aiming towing mirrors. Some other motorhomes like the uh, Forest River FR3 don't even give you power mirrors. But these are power aim with wide convex and you have side cameras in the mirror. So when you activate your turn signals, you get a nice view of the side of the motorhome, something like this. And just in case you want a better view, you have a little peeking windows that you can peek out and see if there's any anything next to you uh, if you have a passenger they can look down and see how close you are to the curb which is really nice and this has a glossy uh, mirror finish exterior this for 2016 they're using better fiberglass than they did in years past the fiberglass is much more durable and this full wall slide has the new and improved three track system instead of just uh, the old type systems let's explain for a minute in the old days like back in 2001 2005 10 years ago and even some today the slide out mechanisms were big bulky things at the bottom of the slide out that the slide sat on top of and the problem with those old systems is when you're driving along and you go over bumps in the road there was nothing holding the top of the slide out so as you go over a bump the slide could literally go slap because it was free to move back and forth now if you have a bunch of people sitting in the dinettes and the stuff that's mounted in the slide out they're gonna be like whoa what was that but you don't have that kind of problems with this newer type of slide out because you have this track at the bottom a gear drive system an in-wall motorized drive synchronous motor thing and then three, two tracks at the top. So you actually have six tracks holding the slide out rigid in any position, whether it's out, in, or anywhere in between. And it's a foolproof system. 
So even if you put your slide open and you didn't notice there was a tree here and the slide hits the tree, the synchronous motor system will stop and even if the other one gets a little cockeyed, you just it'll self-straighten itself, which is very nice. But it's the best practice is to get out when you're at the campground, make sure you have clearance, and everything is good. And that's open the slide in seconds. So this also has these modern frameless windows, which give it a very clean look. Even on the front, you have these frameless windows. Again, over here you have a side view camera with a nice side view. But these frameless windows give it a clean look. You don't get the dribbles down the sides of the windows, not like before on the older style windows. And this coach even has uh, window covers. So if you're going to store it, you just put the snap the window covers over your windows and it'll protect your interior upholstery and it'll protect your windows and everything from sandblasting and stuff depending where you park it. It'll protect your motorhome against uh, all sorts of things. Really nice. As we go around let's look at the awning. Is Actually I had to replace the awning fabric because there was a tear. So this slide out awning fabric is brand new. Let's look at it. So the awning fabric is there for a purpose. It keeps water off the top of the slide out. It also keeps, you know, when you park in the campground and you got squirrels in the trees and they throw their little acorns at your RV, they're not gonna fall on top of the RV, be, be, on top of the slide out. You don't have to get up there with a broom for leaves and things like that that will fall on, because as the slide goes in, they just roll off the side. It's really nice. It keeps the heat off as well from the top of the slide out. Very nice feature. So here's your other part of the three track system. Now the, two th the 2013s and 14s didn't have three tracks, only the 15s and newer do. This is a newer improved uh, system. Again, let's take a real close look at the 8,000 pound towing package. This is, it looks like the same hitch other RVs have, but it actually shows you 8,000 pounds. I'll show you in a minute. Let me dub a picture in right here. roof access ladder you've actually got a bumper on this motorhome there's no physical damage there's really not any kind of nicks or chips or anything on this coach it is extremely like brand new condition it only has 4,000 miles it was a one owner coach and in the back you've got this uh, mega storage compartment the owner liked the TVs in it so they kept them so I put brand new TVs in it so you've got five brand new TVs in this motorhome. State-of-the-art smart TVs. 32 inch, 40 inch. And the bunk beds have uh, DVD players built into the bunk TVs. It's very nice. This is a big mega storage compartment, bigger than a lot of A classes have. You've got a quick fill water point. So you just take this cap off and you can fill your water tank in seconds. And if you need additional water capacity, it's very easy to add uh, a secondary auxiliary water tank if you do a lot of dry camping, which you can with this coach. It does have an onboard generator. We'll turn that on and show it to you in a little bit. Outside TV. Let's show you the entertainment system in a little bit more detail. So let's take a look at the entertainment system. First of all, you've got your outside 1080p HD TV. And since the previous owner liked this TV so much, we put, we had to put uh, brand new TVs. These are the very nice Vizio smart TVs. So they have the Netflix and Amazon streaming prime TV and all that. And you're watching digital over there broadcast from the RV's antenna. And if I turn that volume down, we can also play our Bluetooth apps. We have some songs playing through the waterproof speakers. So I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you the inside, I'm gonna explain more about the uh, entertainment system, because the entertainment, this has dual stereos going in at 30.2. Let's take a look around. Show you inside. 
there's a lot of entertainment in here you got a big 40 inch tv over the dining area a brand new one in fact uh also a vizio um the three main tvs are vi uh four one two three three main tvs are vizio and then you have two uh tvs hd tvs with bunk beds in the bunk beds they have dvd players built into the tvs so if you have kids in here you could just slip a DVD right into the side of the TV and it'll play it. So this model is a full wall slide with the bunk beds. So you got dedicated bunk beds. You got your rear queen bed. You got your entertainment system over the bed. So here's your um, entertainment unit right here with the Bluetooth for the outside speakers in the rear so it's got a speaker A and speaker B button so I can turn off the outside speakers are speaker B the inside speakers are speaker A and they're in the headboard up here right there so we can turn the sound up and blast music or mute it right from the phone because it's Bluetooth wireless connectivity and of course it has AM FM auxiliary audio jack so you can plug an iPod old school into it as well you got mid wall light switches right here for the overhead lights and over the bedroom you have the fantastic three-speed fan which is really nice so if you go to your nice campground say by the ocean or by the river or in the mountains you don't need to run the AC you just turn on your your ventilator fan and you suck out all the air it's three speeds so that's high put it on low speed and then we're ventilating but of course you have fully ducted AC the AC cools really well because this is only a 30 foot floor plan it has a lot going on for a 30 footer you have bedroom window, you have a nice headboard, you've got the additional uh, seating area here where you can, you know, look up, look out the window, you can open the window and ventilate. You've got night shades, you just pull it down for privacy. You've got reading lights in your overhead compartment. You've got USB charging ports right here. We'll go on to another uh, next phase of the video. So as we're talking about the master bedroom suite right now, there's a lot of storage in here. You've got storage for hanging clothes, big storage compartments overhead. You've got good head clearance in here. You've got wardrobe storage right here. And in this cabinet, it has a light, all LED lighting, very bright LED lighting. This is your cushion for turning the dinette into a sleeping area if you want to do that roller drawers so you can pull the drawers all the way out and load them with clothes they're big deep drawers too this one goes all the way out look how deep that is you've got bedside nightstands right here You've got power outlets over here where you can plug all your gadgets in. The drawers extend out and you can fill them with all your gadgets so they're just by your bed there. And you got nice privacy doors. So you just push down and then the drawer closes. You got a second door and now the bedroom is private space separated from everywhere else so if you want to change your clothes or sleep or whatever it does have a brand new TV in the bedroom a 32 inch nice big TV and it has storage behind here and again we're not connected to cable TV or anything that's not satellite pictures that's over-the-air HD broadcast television so I can change I in this area where I'm at right now I can get over 150 channels so 2 4 4.1 4.2 etc so as we're showing you the bunk beds each bunk bed has 
an, its own LED light. This is the pillow area, and that's the foot area. Unless you want to do it the other way around, if you don't want them to watch TV or whatever. You got giant windows. This RV has really big windows for the bunk beds, so the kids can open the window and they can really see out. Nice big windows. On the top and bottom bunk, you've got a ladder here to access the top bunk. Brand new condition mattresses, and these are thick mattresses. These are nice four inch thick, so they're thicker than no sleeping problems. Nice big curtain covering your nice big window on the bottom bunk and the bunk TVs can uh, be powered by 12 volt those are 12 volt rated TVs as well in the kitchen you got nice faucet fixtures here with a pull-out spray rinse one this is actually a brand new faucet because uh, I don't know one out of every two RVs needs a new kitchen faucet that's what I find so this one got a new one. Nice bathroom, a private bathroom with a big shower in here. Got a, a light switch right here to turn on the lights. A glass shower enclosure. Nice uh, brand new shower head and uh, faucet fixtures. Everything is clean, sterile. I had a professional housekeeper come th through and clean this RV and we're just running on the onboard water system this is not hose or or land water this is the onboard water tank the sink and everything is nice and clean professionally cleaned medicine cabinet towel rack that's the door to go through to your uh, master bedroom so it's kind of a Jack and Jill bathroom style so access to the rest of the coach or access to the master bedroom without going through the rest of the coach. So that's pretty nice. Um, I had a C-Class Thor motorhome before with a similar floor plan, but there is a lot more room in the A-Class than there ever was in the C-Class. Um, the C-Class Thor with a full wall slide, much smaller, much harder to drive. Actually, the A classes are much easier to drive than the C class. So up front, you have a sofa that you can sit on with some cup holders. So you can sit here and enjoy your big 40 inch TV, HD TV. There's lights. These are all LED lights. You have a second one of those three speed fantastic fans in the front area. So if you're in an area where you what they call dry camping, where you're not plugged in, you can turn those fans on and uh, and have quiet uh, ve air ventilation throughout the coach. All the wood and cabinetry is in good condition. There's no nicks or chips in it. All the seating surfaces are excellent. They're not uh, nicked up. And remember, this coach has window covers that uh, protect the windows so that uh, you have full shade over the interior if you're going to store it. And this jackknifes into a sofa, so you could you could sleep one or two persons here. You could sleep one or two persons here. And you could definitely fit two people up here in the overhead bunk. And of course it has a, its own LED light. This is a very, very nice mechanism. The bunk sticker says it's rated for 250 pounds. So there's a switch right here and a key. So it's a simple process of hit the switch. We'll raise it up and it puts itself away and there's compartments up there where you can still pillows and sheets and stuff to make that into a bed but puts away very simple it's got super high strength magnets that hold it so it doesn't rattle around once it's in the up position it's a very clever design you got map pockets all kinds of convenient pockets and you see the seats do swivel around you've got a center table here so that you can have, enjoy conversation so of course you can sit four people at the dinette but you can sit two additional people with a nice table over here so you have dining for six 
on these two tables inside away from all the bugs and stuff of course unlimited seating outside and then there's various seat bolts around all the TVs are brand new nice night shades all the windows and everything are in excellent condition like I said there's no visible imperfections on this coach it drives really nice it has automatic leveling jacks wrap around curtains for privacy it's very nice it's kind of hard to fight the bunk bed motorhomes because you may not have to if you have just uh, a family of four this is all you need right here but if you have a family of five having that electric bunk someone can sleep a teenager perhaps up there in the overhead bunk and you don't have to mess with a table and you don't have to mess with a sofa but if they bring their friends, you have additional places for people to sleep inside the coach. And there's storage underneath. You can open the door and you have storage down under here. So you can put your bottled water and so forth for easy access. Or shoes down in the compartment. Um, this is a very sturdy table. If you've seen as many RVs, you know, looking at different RVs, some of them have different mechanisms to hold the table. But this is the strongest possible mechanism if you lean on it it's not going to break you've got coat rack right here by the door all the interior light switches easy access by the door nice professionally cleaned refrigerator here this is a Norcold refrigerator let me turn it on I fully tested this RV I picked this RV up and drove it from Dallas, Texas to California. So I know the refrigerator works and it's been professionally cleaned. I mean, it is a 2016 with 4,000 miles on it. It hasn't seen much use, but it's, we had it professionally cleaned um, the other day. So it's good to go. And my air conditioning is working flawlessly. The AC system has something called a chill grill. So normally, these little vents are closed and it forces the air conditioning through the ductwork to evenly cool the motorhome throughout but if you are dirt bike riding or going for a hike or a jog and you come in and you're all hot and you want to cool off as fast as possible you open up the chill grills and you get direct blast right in your face and cool down much faster While we're in the kitchen, we're gonna look at the oven. It does have a three burner cooktop. And like everything else, I had it professionally cleaned. Let's see if it will light. Third burner. Three burners light up on the first try and like I said, it's professionally cleaned. I don't wanna cook my camera, but you got a nice good flame and you can turn that down to low still have flame going on low setting usually honestly we only use one burner at a time when we're camping and I never use the oven I had the oven professionally cleaned just to make sure it's as clean as possible but I normally don't use the oven but a lot of people do and the reason is if you go, go some campground where you're going to dry camp and you're not going to be plugged in on any power after 8 o'clock they frown on you using the generator so if you want to bake something you can bake it in the oven with the gas and you don't even need to fire up the generator which is real nice and you don't need the generator and you don't need any power for the LED lights because they are LED lights they all have wall switches easy access to the wall switches right here the LED lights they stay nice and cool they don't get hot they don't use a lot of electricity so you have a lot of light in here it's starting to get dark it's 7 30 p.m. and it's getting dark outside but it's nice and bright in the motorhome no problem seeing I don't even need to use my movie light um, all the seat materials because it is a Thor I'm going to show you the seat material is all soft. There's no flaws in it at all. It's flawless seat material. 
excellent condition. A little tiny amount of wear from people grabbing this to get in and out of the coach, but that's about all I see. Maybe we'll walk through again. Back to the bedroom. There is a little bit of storage underneath the front of the bed. Um, it's a small amount of storage. You know, you could store extra water or sleeping equipment and so forth in there. So a lot of people want to know how this slide out works with a full wall slide. What I, uh, this has the three track system. So this slide out is very rigid. It's securely attached to the motorhome. On the older motorhomes, there was nothing to attach the top. Everything, all the mechanism was on the bottom. So when you're driving down the road, the slide was loose, but not on this type of design. This newer design on this motorhome is uh, three points of support on each end of the slide out. So the controls are right here on your master control point, and I'm gonna start the generator while I'm at it too. Generator is gonna start up in a minute. Generator started and it only has 34.1 hours. So we're putting the slide in, you see the slide is going in and we just started the generator. And yes, you can run the generator when you're driving to power your roof air and TVs and things like that. Um, if you're driving on road trips in the summer, it's kind of nice to have the uh, generator going and have all the full house cool down. So the reason people want to see what it's like with the slide closed is to see if you can still move around and there's plenty of room in the aisle and you can easily open the bathroom door here to access the bathroom when you're driving down the road. You can use the restroom. You can even go all the way through here to the bedroom. So the bedrooms, the bed swishes down a little bit, but uh, you know, you can't walk around the bed when the slide is in, but if push came to shove and you were on the side of the road and you didn't want to open the slide, you could still sleep here. You could still sleep in the bedroom. You could still use the bathroom. And it's theoretically possible that you could even use the bunks because there's enough room little kids could climb in the bunks even if you didn't want to open the slide out. But if you park next to a curb, pull over on the left side of the coach, you can open the slide out over, over the curb and you'd be fine. And you can also open the electric bunk with the slide closed and still use that as well. So the slide really adds a lot of room in here. See that? The bunk is going down and there you go. You can still get to it. It's a very well designed, probably they designed this whole thing on the computer like some kind of super fancy Lego Transformers gadget. So it's pretty neat. Let's check out the driver's features. So we're taking a little test drive in the Thor Ace 30.2 bunk bed motorhome. You can see we've got 4,760 miles on the odometer, 153 hours on the engine, and we're just going to take it for a little test drive and I'm going to demonstrate the features. It's very quiet, it's very strong, so this has an 8,000 pound towing capacity. It drives straight. If I turn on my left turn signal I get my left camera if I turn on my right turn signal I get my right camera and it's very easy to maneuver so we're gonna back into this cul-de-sac here if nobody's gonna be bothered by us it's a four-point intersection so we're gonna back into this cul-de-sac Stop right here, put it in reverse, and then I can see through my mirrors 
very clearly and through my backup camera that there's nobody around and we're backing up down this street I can back up all the way down the cul-de-sac because my visibility is great of course it's wider than a driveway but I can see in my mirrors nothing's behind me I'm backing all the way up passing a couple cars here and we're gonna pull behind the trailer maybe you can't see the trailer maybe you can I can see the trailer and we're gonna park next to the curb right here behind the trailer in the cul-de-sac loop parallel parking a motorhome and there we go so if I put it in park I see my turn signal let's go see how we did open the door see how our parking job came out see that we're in the cul-de-sac loop we parallel parked we could dial it in a little bit better but it never hurts to get out and take a look not a bad vehicle to drive go on to the next phase of the video so we're gonna get out of this spot here turn real sharp it's a shorter motorhome, so it turns very sharp. I wonder if it can do a U-turn in the intersection. Let's see if we can do it. Can it make a U-turn in this intersection? Let's find out. See how good the maneuvering is. This is a residential neighborhood. Will it be a three-point turn or a U-turn? Let's find out. A U-turn. Isn't that nice? It's not hard to drive. The Class A motorhomes are actually easier to drive than the C-Class motorhomes. Whether the C-Class is a Mercedes or a Ford, they're very easy to drive the C-Class I mean the A-class motorhomes, especially the short ones like this. They don't get much shorter than this. Very maneuverable. Mike Johnson, definitely give me a call. 951-681-2101. Thank you. Features of these seats, they swivel around and they lock in the forward position. This one can swivel around as well. The slide was not in that position, but if I slide the seat forward, I can put it into position, get comfortable, tilt steering wheel, put it down. And I do have two sets of keys for this motorhome. Let's start the engine up and take a look at the odometer. So current odometer reading is 4,000. 759 miles nice thing about Ford you get these buttons down here so I can toggle through my information and it also tells me it has 153.1 hours on the engine only 153 hours on the engine 400 that, that's the trip meter 68 degrees outside 225 miles to empty and it can do a uh, a system check so engine temp okay transmission temp okay oil pressure okay brake fluid okay and you see the brake light is on because I have my parking brake on so we have the leveling jack system down it's flashing green because we're level but if I release my parking brake that will cause the dra jacks to come up and get ready I have mirror heat 
power mirrors right here. Steering wheel drives straight when you're driving down the road and I think I'll take you on a little test drive. If I turn on my dash radio, this is Bluetooth as well. So Bluetooth dash radio and the dash AC, by the way, is ice cold, it works perfectly. And this has the digital control deck, which is really nice. You got a cup holder, there's no carpet up here, which means if you're driving and you spill your drink, it's very easy to clean up up here. So we have side cameras. So when I turn on the turn signal, of course I have the curtains, but looking out the side, I can see the side left side of the motorhome. If I turn on the right turn signal, I can see the right side of the motorhome. And if I put it in reverse, the jacks might go down. Nope, I didn't release the parking brake. That's my rear view camera. So it's trip uh, three cameras, left side, rear, and right view cameras. And this is a Bluetooth stereo with a touch screen. So you can toggle through and set everything up, everything right here on the dash very convenient a modern stereo and does play CDs and I think it plays DVDs as well yes it supports even DVDs playing on the player right here which is really nice and you do get a little conversation mirror up here so I have that mirror up there so I can keep my eyes on what people are doing if somebody's going to the restroom I can see that out of the conversation mirror here I can see the whole RV from up there, which is really nice. And then we have cruise control. Oh, one important feature to point out, you have tow haul mode. So you have a little button on the end of the steering wheel. This is really important for when you're driving in the mountains. So if I turn on tow haul mode, my tow haul lights on. When you're coming down in the mountains, it's kind of a heavy motor home. It's, you know, gross vehicle weight rating is 18,000 pounds. Here's your VIN plate right there. Gross vehicle weight of 18,000 pounds. When you're driving down the switch packs in the mountain, you want to turn on tow haul mode because the engine and transmission will help you slow down coming down a hill so you don't overspeed. And so you don't have to ride your brake pedal so your brakes stay nice and cool. You may not have to use the brakes at all on most downhill grades. You won't even have to touch the brake unless there's an emergency, which is nice because then that gives warning to the people behind you that you're encountering, encountering an emergency where you're actually slamming on your brakes as opposed to riding them all the way down the hill. But no, you may not have to touch the brakes at all coming down uh, most mountain grades like the Cone Pass, Grapevines, 4,000 pound 4,000 foot mount, mountain passes, um, unless the grade is more than 5 or 6 percent, you may not have to touch the brake at all. Features of these seats, they swivel around and they lock in the forward position. This one can swivel around as well. The slide was not in that position, but if I slide the seat forward I can put it into position get comfortable tilt steering wheel put it down and I do have two sets of keys for this motorhome let's start the engine up and take a look at the odometer so current odometer reading is 4,759 miles nice thing about Ford you get these buttons down here so I can toggle through my information and it also tells me it has 153.1 hours on the engine only 153 hours on the engine 400 that's the trip meter 68 degrees outside 225 miles to empty and it can do a, uh, a system check so engine temp okay, transmission temp okay, oil pressure okay, brake fluid okay. And you see the brake light is on because I have my parking brake on. So we have the leveling jack system down. It's flashing green because we're level. But if I release my parking brake, that will cause the dra jacks to come up and get ready. I have mirror heat, power mirrors right here. 
steering wheel drives straight when you're driving down the road and I think I'll take you on a little test drive if I turn on my dash radio this is Bluetooth as well so Bluetooth dash radio and the dash AC by the way is ice cold it works perfectly and this has the digital control deck which is really nice you got a cup holder there's no carpet up here which means if you're driving and you spill your drink it's very easy to clean up up here so we have side cameras so when I turn on the turn signal of course I have the curtains but looking out the side I can see the side left side of the motorhome if I turn on the right turn signal I can see the right side of the motorhome and if I put it in reverse the jacks might go down nope I didn't release the parking brake that's my rear view camera so it's trip uh, three cameras left side rear and right view cameras and this is a Bluetooth stereo with a touch screen so you can toggle through and set everything up everything right here on the dash very convenient a modern stereo and does play CDs and I think it plays DVDs as well yes it supports even DVDs playing on the player right here which is really nice and you do get a little conversation mirror up here so I have that mirror up there so I can keep my eyes on what people are doing if somebody's going to the restroom I can see that out of the conversation mirror here I can see the whole RV from up there which is really nice and then we have cruise control Oh, one important feature to point out you have tow haul mode so you have a little button on the end of the steering wheel this is really important for when you're driving in the mountains so if I turn on tow haul mode my tow haul lights on when you're coming down in the mountains it's kind of a heavy motor home it's you know gross vehicle weight rating is 18,000 pounds here's your VIN plate right there gross vehicle weight of 18,000 pounds when you're driving down the switch packs in the mountain you want to turn on tow haul mode because the engine and transmission will help you slow down coming down a hill so you don't over speed and so you don't have to ride your brake pedal so your brakes stay nice and cool you may not have to use the brakes at all on most downhill grades you won't even have to touch the brake unless there's an emergency which is nice because then that gives warning to the people behind you that you're encountering, encountering an emergency where you're actually slamming on your brakes as opposed to riding them all the way down the hill but no nope, you may not have to touch the brakes at all coming down uh, most mountain grades like the cone pass grapevines 4,000 pound 4,000 foot mountain mountain passes um, unless the grade is more than five or six percent you may not have to touch the brake at all so let's take a look at the chassis of this Thor Ace starting with the tires you've got the dual rear tires differential Bilstein shocks and you've got a nice cooler on your uh, differential four-wheel disc brakes no leaks your rear shock absorbers I mean the rear leveling jack and underneath it's extremely clean under here it hasn't been driven in the rain much it's really nice and clean underneath still got the factory label on your fuel tank and generators not even dusty your bumper mounting brackets fuel lines your trailer hitch now this has an 8,000 pound rated trailer hitch that's your 8,000 pound trailer hitch rating from the factory it's got the seven pin trailer connector installed factory your generator exhaust runs out the rear the mega storage compartment is reinforced uh, there's a piece of wood down here to reinforce because this is a big storage compartment you could put something heavy in there and it is reinforced nice and clean underneath take a look at the tires tires look good the wheels have 
valve stem extenders so it's easy to check the air pressure when you're driving to maintain proper air pressure the front of your differential your exhaust and your drive line underneath here it's all clean underneath it hasn't seen any kind of rust or snow conditions your front hydraulic leveling jacks no leaks your front tires that's your tire tread easy to check the air pressure and it includes these covers that go over the tire area. Your front suspension, remember, 4,000 miles on this coach. No leaks from under the engine compartment. The radar, radiator and everything look like brand new. No sign of leaks. Nice tire tread. No physical damage. And again, your leveling jacks. That's your transmission. Your transmission is nice and clean. Parking brake, everything looks good down here. All underneath, everything looks good. My name is Mike Johnson. Give me a call, 951-681-2101. Before I show you the entertainment, I wanna show you what I'm talking about, these window covers. I have them in this cargo compartment. So these window covers, you just take it out, you roll it open, and they snap over the window. Now, let's go see the outside entertainment system in a little more detail.